In this video from Sharpel, we're taking a quick look at uh, using a barcode scanner with the XEA307 register. So in this video, obviously I've already pre-programmed my scanner to work with the till and I've also programmed a few products into the machine so they'll be recognised by the scanner. So if you've not done that already, skip to the end of this video and I've got uh, links to those two videos showing you how to set up your scanner with the 307 and how to add your barcode products. Um, this is just about actually using the machine uh, using the scanner with your register. So the first thing you can do is obviously when you're selling stuff on the till, if you've got your items pre-programmed in, you simply point the scan and scanner at the barcode. First one will wake the till up, and then if it's already awakening, you're in the reg mode, you'll sell your item. So we've got the description, phone cleaner, price 199, and you just keep scanning your item and it'll keep adding it up with the sale. If you sell lots of a particular item, you don't want to scan every single barcode, then you can type in the amount there, use your multiply button, and then scan your barcode here like that, and that'll just keep adding up. If you've got a scanner barcode and the till doesn't recognize it, so it's one you haven't pre-programmed, you get a couple of choices. You can either cancel the transaction and go and program the item properly into the till or you can enter it in an emergency format so here it's basically got a learning format for the barcode so it's come up with the barcode number so exactly the same as, as a, that is on there so ending 859 so we can give it a price just type in the price without the decimal point and then hit TLNS and then you can assign it to a department I'll just assign mine to department 1 for now TLNS and then you can set it to be auto delete or no delete. Um, the function on the 307 allows you to automatically delete barcodes that haven't been sold for a certain period of time. I'll go into that in more detail in the barcode product programming video. We'll select ours to be no delete for now, TLNS, and then that's added it to the groceries department which is my department number one. So now if I scan that item again it just comes up as £1.50 under department 1 um, and then I'll cash that sale off in the normal fashion if I now wanted to fully program that product I'd go into the programming mode down to setting down to article into PLUEAN and then I'll take my barcode that I've just scanned Scanning it again and it comes up with the information that you've programmed in. So we've got £1.50. It's inherited the description groceries from the department. So you can go into it and go, well, it's not groceries. I want to give it a proper name. Um, pressing this twice gets the number to appear. This is GT85. So I'll program a description. The price is correct. Um, but I've put it in the wrong department, so I'm going to put it into department uh, 5. And that's it, I've now fully programmed that product, so I can come back out. Scan the barcode again in the reg mode, and it will now come up, instead of saying groceries, it comes up um, with GT85, so it works just like our other barcode products. So the emergency barcode learning program is actually quite useful. It enables you to quickly put the sale through and then it's just a case of going back into the programming mode when you get a chance and fully programming the product so it appears correctly on your reports. Uh, in the reg mode you can also do refunds on barcode items. Uh, the way it works is you simply press the RF key and then scan your barcode. So if we get this product bought back, simply press RF and then scan the item and it will process it as a refund. Um, so yeah, that's covered quite a few of the basics with the barcode scanning on the 307. I mean, it's a really good machine for barcode scanning because you've got 10,000 scanning lines um, on the machine, which is a lot for a till at this level. Um, I wouldn't have thought there's anything else out on the market that's got anywhere near that. Um, and it's got the ability to learn barcodes as it goes along. You can then, um, We've seen how easy it is to use a product. It's actually relatively easy to program them. It's just a bit of a chore when you first get the machine to add in all those barcode items. Um, so yeah, if you check out this video is appearing on screen now, um, saying 
showing in detail how to add new barcode products and then also crucially if your machine's not working with the barcode scanner there's a video showing you how to set up the scanner and the port so that the scanner and the tool are communicating so you can check those out now you can also subscribe to this youtube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more thanks for watching